Alright guys, they're playing Orn top lane against the Jace and what we have this game is Grasp, Demolish, Second Wind, Overgrowth, uh, Biscuits and we're also running Cosmic. This game, I want to showcase you guys exactly how strong Orn is. In case you haven't heard of it, Orn is now the highest win rate in the entire game. Um, they actually brought out like a bug fix for Orn and this caused the win rate for Orn to like spike up like crazy. Never expected that like a bug fix would actually make Orn like this strong. Kind of crazy, but I'll show you guys how strong this guy is. So this matchup that we're running into is a pretty good matchup, except like it's ranged. Early game, it's not going to be the most fun, I would say, because uh, in the early game, he will poke us. He'll try and hit the Qs. Um, however, as we progress level two, three, four, it's actually going to be a favorable matchup because I can stack armor and also cast my W when he throws down the the Q. I think you guys are going to like this game, for sure. They like the trick to winning this matchup is to just stack armor, um, play the scaling game to not fall behind, basically. And using my W in like pixel perfect timing. So when Jay's like hits the... Uh, the knockback, at that point, I should be pressing W. So let's see if he jumps on me here. If he goes for the Q, I'm just gonna do this. There you go. I went to try. Now let's try. You see? So even when it's a ranged matchup, you would, you would consider this matchup to be a big counter matchup. But with Orn, it's not really. Because if Jace like jumps into you, it's like a free W. I'll get my level 3 here. I failed my Q. My bad. It's okay though. He's still gonna die. Okay. Not bad. Well, the kill goes to the jungle. I mean, I'm fine with it. I would've kind of preferred to have it for myself, but... Okay. I mean, personally, I would have appreciated to get the kill for myself because it actually uh, pushes my lane um, pretty far ahead. But if my jungle gets the kill, like, it's not that bad. Because uh, my jungle gets to, like, play the game better. So, let's actually go for a Bremble. There you go. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay a little bit longer and I'm going to showcase you why I'm doing it. Because I'm actually 50% HP, I got double buff. And if I can get like a little bit more of this wave, maybe get to shove it and like do some damage on him, I think I can win the lane even harder. So let's poke him all the way to death here. Some of the wave... We're unfortunately going to lose it. This is the way it is. Hmm. Should have cancelled that. I think I can probably bait him, like, doing that build. Every time I build something, we can uh, use the animation as sort of, like, sort of like a bait. And I think that could work super well here. There you go. Okay, let's build it once more. Got my item. We can actually kill him again. There you go, getting low enough. The Diana is showing up in mid lane, so I'm not worried about anybody here. It's okay if we take some damage, like... Hmm, I will get my ultimate here. I'm going to ping my jungle because this guy is extremely low on HP. If we kill him right now, we're going to win the lane even harder than we already are. We're also about to reach level 6 here after this wave. Oh, clean. Although I still got him. Cool. Let's go back. Please don't cancel. Yeah, nice. Oh, cup. 
now let's actually get back. So, I'm gonna go for that one. And then we obviously go for these ones. So, um, basically, in case you haven't noticed what I did right there, I knew I was gonna get level 6 after taking the, the wave on the back. So, what I actually did was I cast my W, my most important ability, I cast it on the back wave because that would clean up the wave. And then as soon as I hit my level 6, you know, I've already calculated that my ultimate will get me to kill, so I don't need my W there at that point. Even if he canceled my ultimate, I could still uh, hit QE, as you could see, and still get the kill. So, in certain cases, it's better if you just let, if you drop your ability down just to, like, get the level 6. Because the enemy won't, will likely not, like, um, expect it. They do not expect you to reach a level 6 that quickly. So, like, that's, like, the trick. Um, good try. Now, all I have to do is just consistently hit my abilities over and over. I think I might W the wave here. There you go. Hmm. It's okay if that hits, like, it's not a big problem for me. Oh, I autoed the, I autoed the ward. My E is not gonna kill me anyway. I still got him. There you go. I auto take the ward, which was like a really good ward by him. That was pretty good. Gotta admit. I did not expect it. That's exactly what I do as well sometimes. Just try to use the ward so I can bait people like one auto attack. One auto attack enough to make the difference. I want to try hitting a uh, proc here. Because I have teleport. Normally I wouldn't go for this play. But since I got TP. I don't mind doing it. There you go. Because that's what I got demolished for. Let's go for that one. An enemy has been slain. Um, now we gotta be a little bit careful because... You know, as you can see... I can walk up to the wave. I can stay for the wave. But I'm gonna have to last it with my abilities for a while. I'll skew from him. Oh, that was clean. That was pretty good. I'll give him credit for that one. That was a clean straight. Now let's go back. And then we're gonna use teleport. I'm uh, buying a ward for my jungle. Probably gonna lose one here. Nope. Still got it. Okay. Let's see what Jay's gonna do. I'm gonna try stacking the wave, but it's kinda hard to deal with a guy like perma poking us here. Got Eve going top. So I think we can probably get a very uh, easy kill here. Yep. Kill transfers to my jungle, which I'm okay with. Nice. And let's get the next plating here. This time I'm um, I'm going to be focusing on staying around. I do not have any intention of going back unless I can shove this very quickly. Yeah, I, I can already back. Yeah, you can consider this lane over. Man, I am not gonna lie though. When I see anybody playing Jace, like this guy, it just makes me want to play Jace. Like, not like not the player itself, but just seeing the champion being played, it makes me want to play it. Jace is such an exciting champ to play, man. Now I feel like playing Jace. After seeing this guy playing Jays. 
but yeah. Anyway, we got Sunfire right now. The next item we're gonna go with is Steel Caps and a Heart Steel. So now we gotta be a little bit careful because we do not want to get crushed by a jungler. Uh, Diana is missing currently. So we gotta be careful a little bit. Still hit my E even though I didn't get the knock. The knock up. Gotta be careful about Diana. Diana seems to be in bot lane. Cool. Take the uh, the shove. You see like the trades that Jace is doing is not really working. It doesn't help him in like a single way. In fact, I can get more armor too right now. Walking away because my ability is a cooldown. Uh, I will not take the risk. A little bit too much for me here. I got my ultimate in two seconds, so good luck, have fun. But oh, 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 oh. lucky guy, lucky guy. I thought my ultimate was going to wreck him, but apparently it doesn't. Well, whatever, I guess. Uh, there's a huge possibility that the enemy jungle is going to come topside, so I'm not going to... Well, that's, actually, the guy doesn't. He's still balling. Cool. An ally has been slain. Nice. And let's get that final one. And we got it, cool. I am really surprised that Orn is back to one of the highest win rates ever. Like, it's not even just a little bit. The, the win rate from Orn is so high currently. It, like... Well, you guys know me, I guess. I've been talking about this all day, every season. It's been like that. It's, yeah. Um, Orn has never been bad. Like, a fun little fact about Orn. Orn has always consistently been a high win rate top laner. Just there are cases where sometimes he's meta, like big meta, and sometimes he's not. But the win rate has always been the same. It's always been on the high end. And seeing now, like, after one simple tiny little bug fix, like, people are now, like, playing Ornn again. It's back to the meta. The champ is the highest win rate it's ever been. Like, I think it's probably peaked its win rate right now. I have never seen a win rate this high on the Ornn. Like, it's already been, like, extremely high. But right now, it's, like, on the next level. But yeah, it's, it surprises me. Um, I don't think we can get anything here. Let's try though. But yeah, like it doesn't surprise me. Orn has always been a good champion. It's like a similar concept with Malphite. Like, Orn speaks for itself. Once you play him, you'll you'll immediately recognize why the champion is so good. Oh, I could have had a double one. I could have killed him. I could have had like an auto, like R auto attack, W auto attack. I could have had like two, like two, um, two hits with the knock, like the knockback, man. I accidentally like canceled my auto. Oh, wow. 21 HP. But yeah, whatever. Um, let's go for Kindle Gem. Let's build this one. But yeah, like, it, it really, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, it really does not surprise me that Orn is this good right now. Because he's always been like that. Like, even before the bug fix, he was already strong. I've already, like, you guys know it. I've made, like, I don't know, at this point, I think I've made, like, 15 gameplays. Maybe 20 gameplays about Orn. Like, every month, I push out another Orn video. Because it's a champ is just awesome. Like it's super easy to it's super easy to play the champion. Super straightforward. 
you can carry your teammate as a tank, which is something that not every tank can do, right? So yeah. I've never had anything bad to say about Orn. Like, this champ has always been good. No matter what stage, no matter what season, no matter what changes they push out or item difference or, or just anything in general. It's never been bad. And it's quite rare. Because champions, like, from time to time, champions will get nerfed. But with Orn, like, it doesn't matter. The champion remains strong at all stages. We're kind of chilling out here. I don't think he sees me. Oh. Well, this is not a bad fight. Ah, oh, I missed my Q. This time I take the kill for myself because I want to get my heart steal as quick as possible. Yeah, the reason why Orn is so good and so consistent at like being able to carry games and stuff like that is mainly because of the amount of damage, CC, tankings you have, but more importantly, like uh, you have the ability to buy items while being in the lane. And that's something that can help you so much like macro wise in the game, right? If, you, if you're like if through macro, if you're really good at this game and you are always able to buy items in lane, you can create so many advantages, which you normally cannot do. Like... Orn is also the only champion in the entire game that is able to do this. It just makes him like... Uh, th that's why he's always good, no matter what stage. There's a fight around bot lane, so I'm considering going for a TP. I'm gonna die here. Apparently they set it up. Wow. I'll give the enemy team credit for that one. I went for a teleport. Apparently there was like a bunch of traps in there and they saw me moving. Not bad now. Well played. Um, either way, this is a dragon right here. Um, even though I died, Yasu was top lane and it turned into a 5 against 4 because of it. So even if I died for it, it's not bad because my teammates were able to beat everybody else. Like we still outnumbered them. If I die, it won't make any difference. So it would have been better if I didn't die though. Like if I could walk away, it would have been even better. But it's, it's fine the way it is. Here, take a look. We have two items. We're already 4k HP. The amount of damage we're doing with my abilities is ridiculous. And we're also getting to the part right now in the game where we can also start upgrading items from my teammates. Which is something which is uh, also quite unique in my opinion. You can literally buff your teammates without doing anything. Got the assist. Pretty good. Let's uh, walk up here. We're going to get the wave. Oh, I still got it. Cool. Um, next thing we have to get is Baron. So I want my teammates to go there. Get this one in the meantime. Cool. Um, I want to fight this guy, but I think the enemy team will rotate first, so I'm not bothered.
This guy does no damage. But I can't fight him because I think there's other people around him. So it kind of makes it very hard to do. Um, uh, not the most happy with this fight because we're missing mid lane, but maybe they throw. Good ultimate. I think we can probably get more. What? Is that one X? What? <laughs> what? That's like one Q. The guy dropped like 70, 70 HP. With one X. <laughs> I know this guy is like close to full build, but that's crazy, man. <laughs> His HP just floats away. Beautiful, man. I love the heart steal damage. I truly do. Such an awesome item. You can never go wrong with it, literally. I don't like this fight. We don't have the damage as as us, you know, the pike and the Kali. Does not actually work. Maybe with Thormil I can make the difference happen, but... Um, something that I could actually go and get is, is a Frozen Heart for... The, like, they have like a bunch of uh, auto base. So we can build that next. We also definitely need to go Baron. Like, top priority. They just have to go there. If they go with, uh, with like four people, I can just teleport. Make it incredibly easy. There you go. Look how tanky we are already. My teammates are going Baron finally, I guess. Eve does not care so far. They could just start. I don't know why my teammates do not want to go Baron, but it seems like Eve just does not care at all. But. Yeah, enemy team is still throwing around, so yeah. <laughs> they just keep dying. Turns out it's working. I don't know what, why my team just doesn't go for it. It's weird. Let me get the proc here. Cool. Got it. I can't really ult uh, a Yasuo because he can block. In case you don't know, like Yasuo can actually block an entire ultimate with his wind wall. So you gotta be very careful about him. Let's get it. Nice. Get this one too. Now all we need to get is the top side one. I'm gonna upgrade the one for Macaulay, but hmm. okay, I completely played that around Draven. I tanked everything for him, and then he just walks away. I thought, you know what, like, Draven is super mega fed. Just go for it, just auto them. Like, throw down the axe, hit like one axe, kill, kill one person each, but he didn't even try. He walked away from it. Not sure if he was trolling or just, I don't know.
This Trafin is really funny. I'm going one versus five for him to tank everything. He walks away. But when I when I'm dead, he goes in one versus three. All right. Interesting. Ah, oh, unfortunately. There you go, I'm gonna upgrade it. I call this dead. My teammates are kinda trolling. We should just have the Baron, honestly. It makes things so much easier to do. But yeah. I don't know what my teammates are why my teammates are waiting to get Baron. I don't know. They're all just walking to a base currently. I'm still in the same position like I was back then too. Don't know what they're doing. Well, this might be a good fight. Sure. You could make this game so much easier just by getting Baron. Makes it so much better, but yeah, whatever. Let's see if we can finish. I've got like 6k HP, so. Nice. Javen is going for G's, so I'm going to clean up the wave. Yep, and that's the game. Hey, this is Orn Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's Divit. And we'll see you next time. Peace.